Church, it's Janet Worrell here from the Bromley North Congregation and it's my privilege today to introduce to you this amazing character of Abram who later becomes Abraham. So we're going to be looking at him today, he's this descendant of God's promise and this incredible man of faith and he really shows that our usefulness begins actually with God and not with man and that if we would let him, God can build his name through us in his like undeserved favour. So I'm just going to read you the verses that particularly stand out about his call, which is in Genesis 12 verses 1 to 4. And it says, The Lord had said to Abraham, Abram, sorry, Go from your country, your people and your father's household to the land I will show you. I will make you into a great nation and I will bless you. I will make your name great and you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you and whoever curses you, I will curse. And all peoples on earth will be blessed through you. So Abram went as the Lord had told him. So Abraham, Abram had to make this decision about whether to abandon his land in the favour of the land Yahweh offers him. Now, Abraham was family against all logic. He follows Yahweh's call and promise. doesn't even say he waited and thought about it. He just went. I think of many times when I've been comfortable where I am and it doesn't actually make sense to me to move into what God is perhaps calling me into. But God, he keeps knocking and he keeps asking and it's like you just can't get away from it. That persistent call of God. And we can be really certain that God's will is the absolute best for us because he loves us and his mercy is there for us. He has so much in store for us if we choose to walk in his ways. He will continually call you on as his partners in the gospel until, as it says in Philippians 1 verse 6, he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. We can just rest in his good works and let us not settle for anything less. So Abram sets aside his own blessing and his own inheritance for the inheritance Yahweh describes. God offers much, but the cost is high. Abram could not continue there. He was being infected by their culture. He has to cut ties from his own country, his own people and their gods. He is called to a higher way. Everything must be less than Christ in our own lives. We must all surrender to him and follow the call to discipleship. We are a set apart people for him. We are called and we are chosen. This world is not our home. It is just a temporary inn. Abram, he has to trust Yahweh to deliver, trust in the unseen. He is this incredible man of faith. He doesn't tell, God doesn't tell him what land it was. He doesn't even say where it was. He's actually quite vague on the details. But all Abram has to do is trust God at his word. He has to spend time in his word and he has to pray and continually listen to God for direction. We must quit the things seen for the things that are unseen. We may have to submit to suffering at this present time for the future hope of glory. But God calls us to live a life in absolute continual dependence on him. His direction. He is always watching. We are always should be watching for his guidance. God promises to make him this a great nation. Taken from his own people and made him ahead of another. God will complete this miracle out of actual barrenness. He will bear fruit and God promises to settle them in their own land and make an abundant family spring up for him. Sometimes God's way looks a little bit barren, but we have to trust him for the fruit. God actually really likes a challenge because his glory shows up best in the challenge. So to know this blessing is the absolute highest privilege that we would be in favour with God. We can live under his protection and care. And what we like, Abram, would be then a channel through God's blessing that will overflow to others. 
So just like Abram, let's pray that we can undertake obedience to God's command and humbly submit ourselves to his protection and care. Thank you for listening.